write a C++ program to implement the concept of queue with NQ, DQ, get friend, and display operations. NQ is an operation to insert an element into the queue, and DQ is the operation to delete an element from the queue. Get friend method is used to display the friend element of the queue and display operations can be used to display all the elements which are present in the queue. Queue data structure works with the principle of first in first out. The first element inserted will be the first element removed from the queue. In queue data structure, there are two pointers. One is known as friend and another one rare. The data will get inserted into the queue at rare and data will get deleted from the queue from front. In this program we are creating a class which is named as queue for creating the queue data structure. In the private section we declare a set of variables max is used to indicate the maximum number of elements that can store in the queue there are two pointers which are required friend and rare and in order to create the queue data structure we are creating an array array of specific type so we are using a pointer variable for creating this array of data which is named as list by using a constructor we initialize values required for the queue data structure the constructor takes a parameter which is a queue size we check whether the queue size mentioned is less than zero. So we create a default queue with a size as 10. Because the queue size cannot be less than or equal to zero. So we change the value of queue size as 10 if it is less than or equal to zero. And we initialize max as a queue size. Max indicates the maximum number of elements that can get stored into the queue. Initially, friend and rare needs to be initialized as minus one. And we create a list for storing max number of values. By using new keyword, we allocate the memory for list, a pointer variable. And all the elements we initialize for the list as null. So by using a for loop, ranges i ranges from 0 to max minus 1, we initialize list of i as null. We write a destructor for the class Q for deallocating the memory which is allocated for the pointer variable list. So we write delete of list. Next, we are writing a method which is named as is empty to check whether Q data structure is empty or not. We can say Q data structure is empty if the value of friend is minus one or when the value of friend becomes more than rare, that is friend greater than rare. So there are two conditions in which 
we can say that the queue is empty when the friend is minus one. That means we have not inserted any element or friend greater than rare. The friend will become greater than rare if we keep on deleting the element from the queue. The friend becomes more than rare. In that case also we can say that the queue is empty. Next we are writing a method to check whether the queue is full. Is full method. We can say that the queue is full when the value of rare reaches to max minus one. Because when we keep on adding the element, the element will get added at the place of rare. The so rare will keep on increasing. When it reaches to max minus one, we can say that the queue is full. Next, we are defining an NQ method for inserting a new item into the queue. Before we are inserting an element into the queue, we check whether the queue is already full by calling the method is full. So if the queue is already full, we display conditions the queue overflow. Else. So first we check whether friend is equal to minus one. If the friend is equal to minus one, that means we are adding an element at the first time into the queue. So friend need to be initialized as zero. Otherwise we increase the value of rare by one and at the place of rare in the list, we add a new item. So we return list plus plus rare equals new item. So rare value will get increased by one and at the new place of rare, the new item will get added. So during the performance of NQ operations, first we check whether the queue is already full. If it is not full, we check the value of friend is minus one. So may make the friend as zero and rare will be increased by one at the new place of rare, the new item will get added. Next, we are defining a method DQ for deleting an element from the queue. So while we are deleting first, we need to check whether the queue is empty. So if queue is empty, we see the condition as queue under flow. Because there are no elements to be deleted. Else the value of friend will be increased by one. So in order to delete an element from the queue, the value of friend needs to be increased by one. Next, we are writing get friend method, which is used to return the value which is currently present at the front. So before we are returning the friend value, we check whether the queue is empty or not. If it is empty by calling the method is empty. If it is empty, we display the message queue under flow and return and we'll return null. If the queue is empty, we return null. Else we return the value which is present at front. So we return list of front. Next, we are writing a method which is named as display to display all the elements present in the queue data structure from front to rare.
Before that, we are displaying the value of friend and rare. What is the current point value of friend and rare? And after that, we display the value of Q data structure only if the queue is not empty. So if the queue is not empty, we display the values present in the queue from friend to rare. So a for loop is used where the value of i is initialized as friend till i is less than or equal rare. We display the value which is present in list of i. So there is a drawback for the queue data structure because when we keep on inserting an element, the element get added at the rare. And when we keep on deleting an element, the element get deleted from the friend. Once some data got deleted from the queue data structures, at the beginning place, the place will become empty. And those empty places cannot be utilized in queue data structure. But there is a queue data structure with five elements. And if we insert all the five elements and we delete all the five elements, the friend will become more than rare. And further, we will not be able to insert an element into the queue even if there are free spaces in the queue data structure. In the main method, we create an object for the queue data structure. We mentioned five as the queue size. In an infinite loop, we display the various operation choices for the queue data structure, one for NQ operation, two for DQ and three for get friend and four to exit from the program. Now, depending on the value of CH, we need to perform different operations. When CH value is one, that is case one, we have to perform NQ operation. So we accept an integer from the user and call the method nq, obj.nq and the value will be passed. VL is passed as the parameter for nq method. Next case two, we have to perform dq operations. So we directly call obj.dq method. Case 3 is used to display the value which is present at front. So we call the method obj.getFront. So we may get null or a particular value depending on whether the queue is empty or non-empty. So if it is empty, value will be null. So we check value is not null. So we display the value which is present in the variable val which will be the value which is there in the front of Q data structure. And in the case four, we have to exit from the program. After the switch block, we have to display the elements which are present in the Q data structure. So we call the method display. So after performing each operations, we call the method obj.display method. Execute and see the program. While we are performing NQ operations, at the first time the value of friend becomes zero. 
and while we are performing NQ operations, the value of rare keep on increasing. So when the value of rare reaches to max minus one, in this case, which is four, we will not be able to perform NQ operations further. So we will say that the queue is overflow. Now we can perform DQ operations. So while we are performing DQ operation, it will increase the value of friend by one. So once we have performed all DQ operations, the friend reaches greater than rare. So if you perform DQ again, it say that the queue is under flow. Now there is no element present in the queue, but still we will not be able to perform the NQ operation because the value of rare reaches to max minus one. So since the value of rare reaches to max minus one, we will not be able to perform further NQ operation.